How's it going guys? In this video we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Casey Jones as the Phantom Ultimate action figure. Released in 2023, this figure is one of the mashup figures between obviously TMNT and the Universal Monsters. So this is basically Casey Jones as the Phantom of the Opera. So uh, let's go ahead and get a quick look around the box and we'll get them opened up and get a better look at the figure. For starters guys, love the artwork on this. Really, really dig uh, what NECA does with these. Um, wasn't too sold on the figure uh, when I first saw him uh, revealed. So, uh, yeah, I was kind of debating on whether to pick him up. But Last Toy Store for Black Friday had a great deal on a lot of their figures. So, uh, he was part of that and I got him at a great price. So, huge shout out to those guys. They always have uh, the great deals and uh, hookups for uh, a lot of these figures and uh, my pre order. So, again, if you haven't checked out last toy store, definitely check them out. They always have some good stuff. On the side, we have uh, shots of all of the figures. Not all of the figures, but most of the figures in the first wave. I have all of these figures. Uh, this was the last one that I was that I was missing. So finally have him at the very top. We've got the Nickelodeon logo, TMNT Universal Monsters, NECA logo on the back. Several photo shots of the figure. Really, really nice. On the other side, Phantom logo, once again, Nickelodeon, Tim and T, Universal Monsters, and then a art shot of the figure from the cover. Also got NECA Real Toys logo. So, even looking at the inside, nice photo shot of the figure, and then there's a figure in all his glory. Um, got quite a bit of stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, get them opened up and uh, get a better look at the figure. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, for starters, getting them out of the box, I was actually pretty surprised that looking at the figure now out of the box, I have to say, it looks pretty good. Uh, dig the design a little bit better. Um, yeah, I'm really digging, yeah, I dig the design quite a bit, I think. Uh, like I said, I wasn't too sold on him when they first initially announced him. That's why it took me so long to pick him up. But uh, as for the head articulation, head does rotate all the way around. Does uh, look down actually pretty well. Uh, not so much up so much because of the uh, mold on the hair there. And I, have, I do have to say though, the hair is not like too, too hard. It, I feel like it's... Uh, there's a bit of a soft plastic in the in the strands, but overall I dig the um, the look of the mask. You can see the eyes there. I don't know if the camera picks it up well enough, but yeah, looks pretty good there. Love the coloring. It does have a nice uh, head tilt, so you can get him in some pretty decent poses. It looks pretty legit. Dig the mask for sure. Uh, definitely a highlight. As for the arms, arm does come up about 90 degrees, uh, does rotate all the way around and it looks like it's a single joint in the elbow. A little bit stiff guys, so I'm not gonna force it and have a video fail. There is rotation in the elbow. Uh, doesn't seem to be any rotation in the upper bicep. Uh, hand, the wrist actually rotates pretty well around, all the way around. And then I did notice that the wrist does bend pretty well. Uh, same thing with the other arm, it does come up about does rotate all the way around pretty well. And again, I don't know what it is, but the elbow seems pretty stiff. Again, single joints. Uh, again, does rotate pretty well around at the elbow. And uh, wrist, once again, rotates pretty well all the way around. And does have a nice back and forth bend swivel. Uh, as for the torso, I have to say, uh, before I get into the torso, I do like the design here. Um, I think he has really, really good Torso rotation does rotate all the way around. Does have not too much of a crunch forward or back. Has a little bit, but not too much. But uh, does have full rotation all the way around, so that's pretty cool. Uh, leg does come up, not quite 90 degrees. More than likely because of the uh, mold. Doesn't go back either too much. Uh, does have double joint in the knees though. So that's pretty cool. Uh, doesn't has a rotation at the upper thigh a little bit. No, uh, well, actually rotation at the knee. Uh, as for the foot, no rotation in the 
foot it appears foot does go forward pretty well it does go back rather well um as for the other leg it does come up again not too much more likely because of the mold it doesn't go back too off too much uh again double joint in the knee he does rotate all the way around there is rotation at the top of the thigh and uh again doesn't appear to be any rotation in the foot but the foot does go back and forth uh the other thing i forgot to mention is can do the splits fairly well but again i feel like the mold hinders that movement a little bit so uh yeah guys let's go ahead and get him off to the side and uh get a better look at his accessories for his accessories guys he actually comes with quite a bit of uh swappable hands he comes with at least eight swappable hands if you include a couple gloved hands or fully padded hands or whatever for starters he comes with a couple gripping hands or open hands that's I love the sculpt on these. I really dig the uh, the detail on these hands. The only problem I did notice on mine, it has like a QC issue possibly. There's a little bit of black paint that kind of got there on the finger. Um, not a big deal because uh, I still think the sculpt of these hands look pretty cool. Then we got a couple more, more slightly gripping hands. And again, really, really dig the detail on these. Uh, NECA, like I've said time and time again, NECA knocks it out of the park with the detail on their accessories, especially like the swappable hands and head sculpts and stuff. And then up next, guys, he comes with more slightly gripped hands, gripping hands. Uh, I really dig uh, the detail on these. Like I said, NECA knocks it out of the park time and time again with their accessories. And the hands, the swappable hands is no no different. I'm glad that they actually came with quite a bit of these. Uh, by default, the figure comes with uh, fisted hands, so more than likely I'm going to have him posed with more of his open hands or, you know, gripping like his weapon. The other two swappable hands he comes with, he comes with a uh, gloved hand or a padded hand if you want to look at it like that. Really, really nice detail on this. Uh, obviously, a <laughs> hockey, you know, so uh, really dig uh, the detail on this gloved hands. Really, really nice or padded hand if you want to call it that. But again, I like how it's uh, it's not fisted. It's actually uh, articulated. And then the other one he comes with, he comes with a, uh, I guess a goalie pad. Gloved hand. So I like the detail on this. The skull looks really cool with the little X. And uh, I like that NECA put like a sort of a dirty or worn uh, wash to it i like the fact that it looks a little faded there i like that it has the um the little i guess the little spikes there in case he's gonna like check somebody but again i'm glad that it's uh open-handed really really dig the detail on this guys i don't know if the camera picks it up well enough but really really solid detail on this one uh i'm actually pretty surprised at how much i'm liking the accessories on this guy next guys he comes with a skull as a uh this is actually a swappable head sculpt as you can see it's got the hole there for the uh the peg and uh really really nice detail as always NECA kills it with their skull accessories i mean if you've seen any one of my predator videos you'll see like i mean just NECA knocks it out of the park and again this is no different i love the coloring on this the teeth look nice the color on that a nice little wash of uh like worn or old you know like i just love that NECA kills it next guys we got a couple of his hockey sticks he actually has it comes with a goalie stick really really nice detail on this i think NECA really did a great job on the uh the coloring uh with the tape there as well as uh yeah just the sculpt itself i really dig the detail on this uh i don't know if the camera picks it up well enough but yeah, NECA just knocks it out of the park, guys. You can see how the bandage, you can see the texture in the bandage there. And uh, there's a little bit of a wood grain look to it. Not too much like their other uh, wood accessories or like bats or anything like that. But really, really solid. And uh, it doesn't feel that flimsy either. Uh, down here, it feels kind of flimsy. So uh, I'd be careful with that. But really, really dig. This part up here feels a lot more solid. Uh, with that, he also comes uh, with a regular hockey stick, which again, I have to say, 
really, really solid detail. Uh, again, the bandages look really nice. Really, really dig it. Uh, again, I don't know if it picks it up, but I, I love the texturing that NECA puts into this. And if you actually, I don't know if this is a QC issue or if this is how it's supposed to be, but if you could tell, it uh, looks like it's a little bit worn there. It's bent, like it's been used. So really, really dig that. I have to say, again, NECA knocks it out of the park with these. Next up, guys, it also comes with a soft goods cape, which I think is really, really nice and really impressive. Uh, as you can see, it's got a bit of a hard plastic up here, so it'll sit pretty well uh, around his uh, neck. You'd have to pull the um, head off, and then you would just sit it there. Uh, I was hoping it'd be something like Dracula's cape, but... Uh, yeah, there's some holes in here for his uh, arms on both sides, or, yeah, there's the other hole. Uh, but I really dig the uh, the look of this. It has like a velvety, like a velvet type look. So really, really dig it. I like the little pins there at the uh, front. I don't know if the camera picks it up well enough. But uh, again, really, really solid detail. It looks like it's threading, but it's a bit of a soft plastic. Uh, the other cool thing, it's got like a wiring, so you can kind of pose it like it's flowing which i thought that was kind of cool really dig that when NECA does stuff like that so another again another solid accessory for the figure and uh you could possibly use this for uh, one of the other figures in uh in the universal monsters line i'd say and last but not least guys we have the alternate head sculpt the other alternate head sculpt uh really dig this one um like i said i wasn't too sold on this figure when i first saw it announced but the more I'm looking at it, it looks really, really cool. I'm really, really digging it. Uh, I like that the mask is broken off here and you can kind of see his face, uh, his mangled face or decrepit face. I like that there's a little bit of wear compared to the defaulted head sculpt. Uh, I like how it's more intact, intact here, but I also like that uh, NECA gives you that uh, extra, kind of like the actual Phantom of the Opera, I mean, where he has uh, the mask and half the mask, but. So for reference guys, I did want to bring in the actual Phantom of the Opera figure to go alongside to compare the two. Uh, just so you can see the, the difference between both figures. Uh, I really, really dig the uh, Lon Chaney. I mean, this, this figure is absolutely gorgeous. I did do a review on this guy, so if you haven't checked out that review, uh, I will leave a link to that in the description below. But really, really love this figure. Uh, I mean, this other one is pretty good too. The... Uh, Casey Jones, uh, like I said, full disclosure, when I first saw it uh, announced, I wasn't totally sold on the figure. Actually, it's grown on me a little bit. Uh, still not my favorite. It's probably still my least favorite in the line. Only reason being is because, I mean, if you really compare him to the Phantoms look, I feel like the uh, clothing doesn't really match all that well. I feel like this is a little bit more, a little bit more messy looking. So I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, comment down below, let me know what you all think of uh, the figure and if you think I'm just crazy that it looks kind of messy and all over the place. But uh, I do dig the coloring. Uh, I do dig the uh, the, pin, the buttons here. I thought that was kind of cool. But I mean, I, I this figure I like way more. Beyond that guys, comment down below, let me know what you thought of the figure. Have you picked up any of the uh, TMNT Universal Monster figures? Uh, which is your favorite? Which is your least favorite? Most of the ones in the first wave I have already reviewed on this channel. So uh, I have to go and say my favorite is the Mummy Mikey. Really love that figure. One of my favorites. I think the only ones that I'm pending to review are Leonardo as the Hunchback and Splinter as Van Helsing. So at some point I will review those. And I believe as of the recording of this video, uh, NECA is already going to start releasing the second wave, which is going to be Leonardo as Creature from the Black Lagoon. I'm not sold completely on the second wave. I feel like it's kind of a little bit messy, but it is a Creature from the Black Lagoon. And as I, you all know, I'm a huge fan of the Creature from the Black Lagoon. So I am planning to pick it up just because I'd like to have a turtle creature from the Black Lagoon. Although I wish NECA would have used that design for one of the other, maybe one of the villains of TMNT. I'm still hoping for a vampire shredder. So uh, I highly doubt they're listening, but NECA, please give us a vampire shredder. That would, I think that would be really cool. 
If you're new to the channel, feel free to like, share, subscribe. If you're not new to the channel, thanks again for coming back and for the continued support. I really, really appreciate it. Until then, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy and have a good one.